Hey friends, Catherine and Erica here. What were you doing? Five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> Ready, set, go. Happy Friday. I see some of you are waiting for shipments of your holiday items. Ooh. Yes. So exciting. You guys, we're gonna make some bright and fun cards today. Well, I'm, I think I'm gonna make one card, uh -huh. but I'm gonna do some fun things in the meantime, and I'm gonna share some amazing card making samples with you from our design team. Oops. How about that? What I'm good. I was, I was muting your computer. Oh, wonderful. <laughs> so that it didn't start talking to us. Who's going to be making holiday cards this weekend? Joan says she's ready to put up the tree. Joan, you should know one of my really good friends sent me pictures like three weekends ago. Her sister-in-law has put up three of the five trees that she puts up. No way. Yes. <laughs> it's September. And I was like, that is amazing. Does Cheryl know that it is September? It is September. <laughs> so last year and potentially the year before, mm -hmm. I have a lot of fall and Halloween decorations. Okay. There were several years in my life where I went a little crazy in the Halloween decoration department. Okay. And they're all up in the attic. And the last couple of years, I didn't even get them down. Uh, we were just busy. And I think Eva was very disappointed. So a couple weeks ago, we had a quiet weekend. She didn't have a lot of dance stuff going on. And... So I got all that stuff down out of the attic and it remains in one of the empty bedrooms that belongs to one of my college student children. Do you need me to come over It's just weekend? all over the so floor. There's stuff everywhere. That sounds like fun. I know. Yeah. I have a lot of things, but my house is a little bit of a mess right now because I'm trying to paint a bathroom. It's like if you give a mouse a cookie, mm -hmm. I just meant to change out the lights. Has this ever happened to you? I changed the light and then it didn't go with the mirror at all and it didn't go with the towel ring or a towel bar so I took down the towel bar thinking I don't need a towel bar in the half bath and it made big holes in the wall yes and I painted the room like probably 15 years ago well I can't find the paint so now that means I have to paint the whole room and I've patched everything up I took the curtain down mm -hmm. I don't have a mirror and it has stayed like that for two weeks and Randall's like um What's gonna happen here? Well, I was planning to go to Home Goods this weekend in pursuit of a mirror. So, if you want to come with, I do know what mirror I want. You know, the kind. It's just like a, a plain mirror, yep. and then it has the two things in the middle, and then the the mirror can like, yes. What is that called? They're really mm. swivel. It's fresh. swivel, basically. It's fresh. It's very nice. I have one picked out. I just gotta order it. But but yeah, that is happening. But that's not what this live stream is about. No, not at all. This live stream is about some card making, you guys. We had a product release this week. We released our 2021 holiday collection. We like to release it nice and early in the year so you have time to plan your purchases, plan your cards, mm -hmm. get excited about the season. You have plenty of time to create your holiday cards and mail them out to friends and family. So we've released the products and then in a couple weeks, we are doing a virtual retreat with our Stamp Nation members. Look at this lineup of teachers. So we have industry experts joining us for the weekend with classes on anything from uh, creative card making, clean and simple card making, scrapbooking, Copic coloring, embossing. I mean, the whole nine yards. We're going to party starting Friday night, October 1st. Is yep, that correct? That is. Uh, Erica and I will be doing a kickoff uh, card making event with our Stamp Nation members to get the weekend flowing. Saturday we are going to do our sessions with our instructors and then on Sunday we are going to uh, have a wrap up party and a Stamper Showcase Zoom format with our members. So this event is free for members. It is for members only. Other events like this are can be pretty pricey. But our Stamp Nation membership is as low as eight something a month, depending on the, the you subscription year, yeah. you get. Uh, if you buy a quarter for 27 bucks, that's more than the cost that you would spend on a class like this. So buy yeah. a quarter, you have three months, you come in and join the, us for the class and spend three months checking it out. Check out the Facebook group, see what kinds of things we do. Yeah. Get the other perks that we offer and then at the end of the quarter you're going to want to become a member again and just join just for a year <laughs> join it in to the fun because it's a great great membership community it is almost 11 years old we have uh 
for 11, the past 11 years, added content there, classes and exclusive videos. We now also have other membership perks surrounding our product line. Mm -hmm. They get to order first our new product releases. Sometimes they get freebies and coupons that are exclusive just for members. And we have a Facebook community group for our members as well. So it's a great place and it's a great thing to try out. So we hope you will. CatherinePooler.com slash Stamp Nation to learn about it or go to shop.catherinepooler.com, uh, click subscriptions and in the drop down menu, you will see information about Stamp Nation and you can join us. We would love it. We would love it. I'm ready to stamp. How about Let's you guys? Yeah. Bright and fun holiday cards. Yes. I'm going to use the decked out holiday patterns paper pack here. Winter green sequins. Mm. This is the urban holiday bundle. Mm. And that's what we're featuring today. My straw matches the winter green sequins. It does. Mm. She keeps saying, mm. Mm. <laughs> I love that um, sequin mix. This is it makes the me happy color palette yes. for the paper and here are the stamps that are in this bundle so you can purchase any of these products a la carte but if you get the bundle you get these two stamp sets the coordinating dies the decked out holiday in the winter green sequins and you get them at a discounted price this stamp set is one of my current favorites near or far because I think it has really fun sentiments for the holidays remembering you this Christmas Merry Christmas. I'll be home for Christmas. I can't wait. <laughs> home is where the heart is. We'll be together soon. Wish we could be there. Missing you from afar and of course to and from. Who could do we'll be together soon on the front and inside stamp? I can't, I can't wait. wait. Suck you. <laughs> I love when you say suck you. <laughs> suck you. It is suck you. And then <clears throat> our wrapped and ready. Yes. This car is adorable. Some of our creative team members have created incredible pieces of art. Oh, like I just was looking here. at this on Melissa's blog. The snow scene card. Yeah. I heart it. I do too. She drew on little windshield wipers because it's snowing. Oh. Suck ya. <laughs> and then, I won't do that anymore today. <laughs> I'll be home for Christmas. Beautiful. So tell me what color you want to color the car because we're gonna look at two different ways to color the car today but did you notice that this car does not have presents on top so she just masked that off so you could use these stamps separately and then she masked off the car stamped the tree but then did really light tree here so that it's like you can see it out the back window that is so clever that is some detail right there yeah, it is. And then we have this one by Aaron, Aaron Thompson. Yeah, that is gorgeous. Oh, where's the one that goes surprise inside? I'm finding right it. Oh, you guys, this is my card. It looks really <laughs> cute until I drop the lemongrass ink pad on top of it. Has that happened to you? Do you want to cry? Or to am you? I alone? No, I don't think you're alone. Am I alone? Melissa also used just the presents from on top of the car on this card such a great way to get more mileage out of your stamp set Aaron created this one with just that little tree we're loving this tree you guys and then this one with the tree da, 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 and the pop-up car inside so fun is that? gorgeous <laughs> so she took an extra stack of presents from here and then adhered them here and that helped her make the car tall enough to fit inside that little window opening. Are they telling you what color they want the car to be? I don't know, are they? do -si do green, I like greens. I think they must be. We're getting oh, a lot of votes yeah, yeah. for green. Okay. <clears throat> in the park, Mardi Gras. Green to match the color in the preview of the collection with CP on it. Oh, oh I like that. That's so cute. <laughs> so you guys, there's two different ways you can color this car. You can use CP ink. Uh, well, I'm sure there's more than two yeah, I was ways. Say there might be more than that. We're going to talk about two, two. ways. Uh, blender pen and ink pad, or you can use Copic markers. So when you use Copic markers, you're going to use regular Catherine Pooler cardstock. Our cardstock is an absolute dream when you use it with Copics because it 
it's like Goldilocks. The blending is just right. The cardstock is not too hard or too soft. I find when I use Copics in paper that is soft, I get bleeding outside the lines. And then if I get a paper that's too hard, I find it very difficult to blend my colors together. And Catherine Pooler cardstock is like a medium, medium softness. And the blending is wonderful. And the bleeding is not an issue. A problem. Not a problem. If you are gonna use Catherine Pooler ink pads to color, this car is so large that you're gonna wanna use watercolor cardstock because you are gonna go over the same area a lot. And if you use regular cardstock, the water, the paper can't handle the water and it will start to pill. You could do these small presents just fine on regular cardstock, but when doing the car, you definitely wanna use watercolor cardstock in an instance like this. Laura said make a pink car. <gasps> and then she said do -do. And then also Shirley said red. I've been chomping at the bit about the pink idea. <laughs> I also support green. I said green this morning. Because green's did. my favorite color. Yes. So but pink is kind of fun. I don't know. Mm. Maybe you should do one one way and one the other. I wanted to do blue green. Go blue green. So I could do this this car with do yep. do and I could do this one green. And because of the length of time it would take me to color this car, I may not we'll see. We'll see what happens here. So green, I have G12, G16, and G19. These Copic markers you will find in our shop. Let's see. And I also find it easier to color images like this before I cut them out. So that's one issue I'm gonna have here. Cause it's just easier to hold on to. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Gotcha. Oh, fun. Erin said she will be live making that pop-up card. Oh, um, tomorrow. She said tomorrow yes. at 9. Is that P? No, morning. 9 a.m. I did hear her talking about that. Fun, Erin. If you are around, definitely tune in for that. I think that will be over on her Facebook page. Fun, fun. Now, Erin, are you going to color it with Copics? Inquiring minds want to know. I, okay, Catherine. Mm. She can't talk and do this at the same time, you guys. We were talking the other day about watching people color, and I think it's mesmerizing. <laughs> but I think that when we're coloring, it's just like, it's soothing. Mm -hmm. Is it like a satisfying video to watch someone color online? <laughs> very well may be. So she's adding in some mm -hmm. shadows to give it dimension. If, uh, when you're using Copics, you want to lay down a good amount of it. Um, that's what makes it blend easily and you will end up soaking through the paper. So that is just a thing with Copics. And then if you're having a little issue getting a blend between the two, I like to take the lighter color and just go like this. What's this called? Marker to marker. You brush it. Pick up some of that mm -hmm. dark color. And then as you color, that dark will come out of the tip and you will go lighter and lighter. That's my favorite Copic coloring tip. I love doing that. It makes me happy. So happy. So that is Copic coloring. I'm not going to do the whole thing because it will take me quite a while. Just a, a little, a little dab will do you. I know I you got a smudge. smudge. Well, you can cut it out. do see -do. Let's do it. And always have a little piece of scratch paper. Do you guys, if you were watching the other day, I made a boo-boo right there. <laughs> so I'm using this as scratch paper and I'm going to be able to run my blender pens off on scratch paper uh, to clear that out. But I kind of like this idea of a do see -do card. Car. <laughs> car. Car or car card. Car. And again, this is watercolor paper. Amy said tip to tip is like what you might say with the <laughs> that that is a good yeah. way to just yeah, describe that to I like me. it. And if I was using regular cardstock, I definitely would not have the ability to to just back and forth like I am doing on this. 
lay down a light color wash over the whole car and then you can go back in and add in your highlights. Sandy says her first car in 1965, oh, her first car was a 1965 oh. VW that was light green and she Ooh. bought it in 73. I love it, Sandy. You were a cool cat. Ha! <laughs> For awesome. sure. So I, I was wondering, and let me know, if you think that your stuff that you've ordered for this Christmas is on its way, who is planning on doing some holiday card making over the weekend? And mm. if you aren't planning on doing holiday card making this weekend, maybe you have something else in mind. Maybe you're going to be decorating for the fall, like Catherine. Is that what's going to happen? Or putting a new mirror in your bathroom, yeah. like Catherine. <laughs> I, I need to paint that bathroom this weekend, but I'll tell you guys. I am not a big sports, I'm not too into sports. I, I'm not against it, but I, I don't. What does sports have to do with painting your bathroom? I'm going to tell you in a okay. second. <laughs> I'm going to two football games this weekend. Oh. That's why I'm very hesitant to schedule anything else in my life, because two football games. So tonight. Oh, that's why you weren't jumping on going to the home goods. That is why. <laughs> I also have a third, now I have four social invitations for the weekend. So, oh goodness! Ten, I know. Aren't we popular? Well, I don't know about that, but <laughs> there goes your eyebrows. I uh, wow, this is so sad. Erica's trying to schedule eyebrows for me, so yeah. I can get them tinted. I forgot to to. I do have a time for you, a day and time. Okay. It might go out the window. You okay. got to go to football games. So that's exciting, though. What are these two football games you're tonight going to? Tonight is our local high school. Yeah, is having a football game, and okay. Eva is on the dance team. So we're going to that. That's tonight. And then tomorrow is the NC State football game. And I haven't been to one in years, so I'm kind of excited about going. And now I have two friends um, that have children. One has a child on the dance team for NC State, and one has a child in the marching band for NC State. And it's kind of fun because Randall and I, when we were young, uh, college age used to go to NC State football games together and now we have friends with children that are participating in it so it's kind of fun so that's tomorrow night nice anybody gonna watch the state game on TV or attend maybe we have some Raleigh people on here will not be doing any of those things you won't no <laughs> I do need to paint my trim though in my living room that I filled holes in a month ago and oh. I just need sandpaper, and I haven't, <laughs> haven't gone to buy the sandpaper to clean up the trim before I paint it. Um, I don't know that we were planning to do a Cersei peek today, but we probably, oh. you guys will be getting your stuff probably before we get to that. Yeah. Maybe we can play with that next week. Um, excited things were, package was delivered yesterday. Wait, Laura, are you going to the car, car wash this weekend? Is that what you said you're doing? <laughs> I think I missed something. Filling in the headlights with lemongrass. Nice. Okay, that's fun. Some folks are saying they like coloring with tri-blends. I don't know of tri-blends. Some folks are saying they really like those. Oh. Then, blackjack is great for the bumper and the tires. So, a lighter color on the bumpers. And then a darker wash of blackjack on the tires is a good way to go. Blackjack is a really, really dark gray. It's so a charcoal gray, yeah. You can see, though, with a blender pen, you can get a really light wash of it or a dark wash. And then for the window, uh, da, 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 cummerbund. A light wash of cummerbund for the window. Joan said her hubby is going to be at the Duke game tomorrow. Oh, who's Duke playing? I don't know. Yes, Diane is doing a cycling uh, ride for kids nice. cancer on Sunday. Wonderful, Diane. You guys have great plans this weekend. Next weekend, I'm finally going to make it oh. to Connecticut. My trip's going nice. to look a little different than it was originally intended with my girlfriend Naomi, but I will be going with my sister and our niece as we're celebrating her graduation from uni, from college. Oh, nice. 
Now, this is with one color. This is with just do si -Do. Yep. If I want d even darker, then I can grab my Samba ink pad and get more highlighting in. You can get quite a variation in shade with just one color, uh, but if you have multiple colors, then you get even more. Build so, more. you guys, you ready for this? Dun, dun, dun. Ta -da! The magic of television. <laughs> Here we go. I colored this yesterday. I had a ball. How cute. And yesterday I made this on live and I thought this might be fun over the top of it. I'm that is fun. You, Yeah. So do that. Um, is I that also... um, rock and red? What colors did you this use? Is, yes, rock, rock and red. I used all these colors right here. Okay. Except I did not use do -si do but uh -huh. I used every other color in this palette, including this. So I have already cut out, and I'm not seeing it. I'll find it. The dots and scallops a little layer. Okay. <clears throat> I'm not seeing it here. Where did it go? Oh, where is my where layer? Where did it go? And I have my card base. This is an eight and a half by 11. Oh, cut in half, oh, fold like it in half. Biggish piece, or? No, it was like one of the smaller layers. Mm -hmm. Here it is. Wonderful. Is that it? Yeah. Okay. So I'm yep. gonna do this. Wendy jeans. <laughs> I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do this. And I'm gonna do this. So I can't find my wobblers that are in my uh, stamp room here. So I had to go to the warehouse and get more. Did I use them all? I mean, what happened to them? I think this is a recurring problem it with is. me. I can never find my wobblers. But true story, I bought some and I took them home and I can't find mine either. Oh no! <laughs> so I maybe they disappear. So we have two different packs in the shop. Uh, and Jenny said to me, we have so many different options because it just depends on what our supplier has in stock. So we have a pack of 48, we have a pack of 12 for the mini. And then we have a pack of 12 and a pack of six in the larger size. I'm gonna use the larger size on this particular card because my image is so big. Ooh. <laughs> and so I need to know, I think oh, that patterned paper needs to patootie. go. So this one, it kind of feels like a vote. snowstorm back there. Where'd all my paper go? I had a stack of, did you put it back in there? No, why are you losing things? Here it is, is this the stack? Okay, so we've got the polka dot. We have rainbow stripe. That's a lot. It's a lot. <laughs> it's <laughs> That's fun. kind of awesome. We have the lemongrass stars. Cute. That's good. Oh. We have the trees. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We have the bows. Oh, that's that's fun. So you guys vote. There are other patterns in here, like the ornaments, the plaid, and the stripe. Show but I've already gone through all. Snowfall one again. I've gone through all of those patterns and I have none left. Used it all. So snowfall, bows and lights, tree, stars, stripe. We've almost seen them all on the internet. So we'll, you get prepared and we'll see what kind of votes okay. come through. So these little wobblers, sometimes I have trouble getting these off, but it's this just peels off like a sticker. And then we'll put that in the center. Okay. A vote for lemongrass, a vote for the trees, a vote for the snowfall, the bows are the trees, the snowfall, the snowfall, the snowfall. I like these two best. I liked the contrast of this one, mm -hmm. but I like the more like realism of that one, mm -hmm. so to speak. The rectangle looks a little like a front door. Cute. Stars or stripes. The first one. I think we get the most votes for this, this buddy. This one. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I'm going to trim it down four by five and a quarter so that it's a layer on my card front. And then we got to think about a sentiment. So I was thinking, 
I have this little tag cut out and it's mm -hmm. on my desk. I could do something with that oh. and put the sentiment on here. Cutie pie. Will that Cute. whole thing could fit? Like the, um, oh, what if I did it like this and then put twine through here? Cute. That's an idea. Then do you I don't have fun twine? I do. Then you don't necessarily have the room for the sentiment as much, but that's okay. Well, let's see what kind of sentiment we can pull out. Yeah, it may depend on what sentiment we use, how much room we have. Um... Oh, because I was saying it would be cute to have we'll be together soon, and then I can't wait inside. But yeah, because you're gonna drive to your yeah. You could just Let's do see. something smaller. <laughs> you know, it'll be fun. Just do the Mary. 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 That's kind of cute. That's cute. cute. And I really do like we'll be together soon with the car. I think that's fantastic. Mm -hmm. Like I'm on my way. Uh huh. I'll be home. Oh, lots of options. Lots. You could do, oh, that'd be really tricky. I'll be home soon. Oh, you guys, if you were a masking genius, yeah. <laughs> so I'll be home. You could easily mask, off mask that off. Uh -huh. And then you could probably pretty easily too mask off that soon. So cute. Oh, I like that idea. Mm. <laughs> I'm full of the grunts today. Could be also, I'll be home on the outside, and then we'll be together soon on the inside. Aww. That would work too. You guys. So many great ideas on how to use the sentiment set. And I think that I want to use Juniper Mist for the sentiment. I'm going to practice first on my scratch paper. Oh, yes. They are loving that little car. Love, love, love it. Oh, that's nice. That's real nice, you guys. And then some twine. Don't want to lose this. I like to wrap my twine through a couple times to give extra, extra. You fun. can do the thing where you fold the twine in half. Mm -hmm. And you feed one end through and then pull the others. Yeah. Do you know what I'm talking about? Yes. <laughs> I do. <laughs> That's definitely an option. I don't think anyone else knows what I'm <laughs> Maybe. <about. laughs> uh, I'm over here on the side gesturing, guys. Because, <laughs> you know, you guys know what I'm talking about. <clears throat> April thinks if she was going to piecemeal those sentiments together, she would be a job for a Misty. Yeah. I think so too. Put the sentiment on the inside. Yep, doesn't always have to be on the front. Yeah, you could. You didn't have to put anything on the front for a sentiment. You yeah. are right, Linda. Mm -hmm. Totally could just put something on the inside. Or just write, write a message inside for someone. Oh, I think that's really cute. Oh, Debbie, your birthday's coming up. Sister friend. Hmm. You get yourself what you want for your birthday. Happy birthday. She's trying to decide what she's buying herself for her birthday. So. Nice. <laughs> you guys, I had a moment the other night because I realized my kids have birthdays, October, November, December, and the next birthday in our family, I'm going to have a daughter that is 22. 22! You old. No, just kidding. <laughs> 22! <laughs> she's like full on I like adult. On she is. She is. She's a big girl crazy. now. She's going to graduate college in December. Aww. She thinks she's moving to El Paso. She's starting an adventure. I mean, Next stage of her. She's gone. Hey, what do they say? That you're, you you build them up so that they can fly away and, mm -hmm. and be independent. And yeah. They always come back. The little boomerangs. Yeah. Okay, they were picking up what I was putting down about oh, the string. <laughs> I am really, oh my cuteness. <laughs> what? Seriously. I love this card. Thanks. How cute is this card, guys? I think my bow is too big. So April's son is smaller. 22, so she's feeling you. Oh, April, how is it with the 
full-fledged adult. I mean, seriously, you guys, she's going to be on her own checkbook soon. That makes me... Yeah. I feel like when they're exciting. still in college, even though they are technically adults, they still feel like they're yeah. dependent on you a lot. And then... Yeah. I mean, she's going to hopefully get a job with health insurance. And... <laughs> <laughs> it's weird. It is really weird. Let's add a little sequin business. Partially because I have a boo-boo. Oh. You know me. With the boo-boo. You got a little bit inky smudge. I do. Honestly, guys, I think one of the things about doing this stuff live that's very different than when you do it at home is you go a little faster paced. At, like at home, it takes me three times as long to make a card as it takes Catherine to make. And it's because I'm trying to not do make boo-boos or whatever. But I'm pretty darn impressed with how fantastic your cards are even when you do get an inky smudge i appreciate that very much thank you you're so pretty awesome sauce. you guys have about a half an hour to spare and we'll just sit and do this yeah zoom in zoom out in a little bit more this zoom out no, zoom in a little bit more zoom no, in? in yeah now do it again do it again okay here we go do it again do it again it's so cute oops sorry <laughs> Oh, I think I need glitter on the headlights. Okay. Hold on. Gay said her youngest is 25. Lisa said hers are 31 and 28. And Betsy said her son's 54, but she's not old. No, you're no. not, Betsy. <laughs> only Catherine. I was only picking on Catherine. The rest of us are young. <laughs> <laughs> you're only as old as you feel, and I am starting to get that. Yeah. I'm starting to understand what that means. I'm using disco ball for the headlights, you guys. Oh. Here, let's take a look at disco ball. Oh, so you're going to actually emboss it. So I am. Sprinkles. I am. Let's emboss. Everyone is stoked about the wobble. Nice. What if we went out and disco balled our actual headlights? Oh. <laughs> you guys, how fun is this? <laughs> Mine have that weird cloudy residue on them, so, you know. So cute. Oh, you so made it curl a little. Uh, yeah, he curled a little bit. There we go. There we go. Oh, my gosh. You guys have another 25 minutes. We can just sit here and do this. <laughs> just kidding. We're coming on up. Thanks for hanging out today, you guys. I had a ball. But, that you cute. know, the car with the presents is the feature of this stamp set. Yep. But there's the little ornaments and the tree and mm -hmm. all kinds of fun little doodads in there for you to get creative with and uh, make a slew of cards yes. just with these supplies. Oh, my gosh. I'm tickled with this car. Yeah. I w I'm going to have a little honest moment here. Oh. I told Hannah and Erica that I was not going to color the car on live. And Erica said, okay. And Hannah said, Catherine, the car is the star of the show, and you have to color it. And I was like, Hannah, you're challenging me. It's so just I takes, dove in, and I did it, and I had a ball. I had a blast. It takes a while to do it. My concern just was, because this is a live stream, the amount of time that it takes to color. and But you, you worked know. it out. Yeah, so I, I dove in yesterday. I did the you know, magic a TV here, yeah. and I think it worked out. Took on well, that challenge. I have another little idea. This is another thing you can do. Take. Oh, oh thanks. There yes. we go. Take your wow embossing pen. Uh huh. Color the window, and then do clear embossing powder on top of it. Oh yeah. What? That's a fun idea. Mic drop. That's awesome. Debbie said, "In twenty-five more minutes, you could make two more cards." Instead of just wobbling. <laughs> <laughs> That's pressure. So you I don't guys. have another card planned. I probably could whip one out. Well, are we going to be back on Monday? We are going to be back on Monday. So that's what I'm going to work on this weekend is what we're going to be doing. Because we'll be on Wednesday too. So Monday we will be right here. Right no, Facebook. Not here. We'll be on Facebook on yes. Monday. And then Wednesday we are going to be on YouTube. Again, so if you have anything that you're wanting to see, because the last three days we focused on a different bundle each day. If you missed the replays, make sure you go to the Catherine Puller YouTube channel to check out all the classy Christmas, 
the nostalgic Christmas, and today was the bright and fun urban Christmas. Yes. So we focused on one bundle a day. We have not done the ornament dies yet. You're right. So maybe we'll do those oh my next goodness. Wednesday. Um, and on Monday, I don't know. We'll see what happens. Maybe we'll think up some funky, fun technique. I also feel like we haven't played with the note cards enough either. True. More maybe note we'll cards. We'll do that again. They yeah, are the way forward. forward. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, you guys. A shaker next week is a vote that Sandy's putting in. I like that. I really want to use the ornament dies and make a shaker card with those. Ooh. Like, make little shaker ornaments. Cute. Um, ooh, maybe we could make ornaments and tags. Like, an ornament tag. Ooh. That would be real cute. Tags for your presents. Look at all these things. ideas. We have it's loads endless. of ideas. We're going to be stamping a lot over the next couple of weeks. So, you guys. Thanks for hanging Subscribe, out. Subscribe, like, and share this video and this channel with your friends so they can come over and hang out with us. We appreciate you being here and hanging out with us and getting creative. And we hope you have an amazing weekend. Bye, guys. Bye, guys.